water level indicator or alarm. Now, as you can see, the 8th and 4th pin of the 555 timer IC are connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And the pin 3 is connected to the positive terminal of the battery through a buzzer. And also the one end or the loose end connected through the pin 8 goes into the water for testing. Now let us make those connections. After having made those connections, as you can see one is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and 2 and 6 are shorted while 2 is also connected to the negative terminal of the battery through a capacitor. And also there is a resistor connected between the 7th and the 6th pin. And the 7th pin has the second loose end which goes into the water through a resistor of 1k ohm. Now, after making those connections, when both the ends are in the water. 